What's up guys? Uh, welcome to another Q uh, GeoServer tutorial. Uh, last time we checked out how to visualize layers uh, residing in GeoServer uh, using the QGIS uh, desktop. And uh, today we are going to look at uh, some of the items that uh, partake uh, in the two services. One of them is the uh, WMS. So today we are going to look at uh, the WMS which uh, refers to the web map service. So the web map service uh, is a um, standard, uh, an open geospatial consortium standard, OGC standard that is used in displaying maps. And uh, the other thing that we are going to look at, we are going to look at, uh, we are going to use GeoServer. And uh, in this tutorial, we assume that you have already installed your GeoServer and uh, uh, it's running and uh, you, you also have a browser uh, in this case you're going to use the Chrome browser and uh, the other thing is uh, just a basic text editor those are the only items that we need uh, to have running so I'll just open up my Google Chrome so this is uh, my geo server in my local machine that is running uh, it's running in the local host as you can see in the address bar and uh, we are going to use something else called the advanced uh, REST client. Uh, so the REST client will help us to see the outputs, the get and post outputs. So we, first of all, we are going to go to the extension library and search for, or rather we can go to the Chrome store And search for you can just type rest client client advanced rest client okay it doesn't seem to be there so let me just search it advanced rest client Uh, so this is it advanced rest client so you can also check it in their website so you're just going to add it into our chrome browser and you can see it has uh, added itself here and it's also in the start menu you're going to see it so i've clicked on it and yeah, this is how it looks like and share in Google Drive you can do a couple of things so we'll just close it and uh, we are going to start uh, by looking at our geo server and you'll notice that just as we had looked at before we have the what you call the WFS WCS and uh, WMS and the others so today we are focusing on uh, the wms which is a web, web map service and uh, the geo server that i'm using which is 2.19.2 is uh, using uh, wms version 1.1.1 and 1.3.0 so you can just click on any of these under the wfs and uh, notably what happens is that it opens an xml uh, extensive, extensive markup language uh, file that uh, contains the details uh, and it says this is the reference implementation of the WFS 1 and WFS 1.1.0 yeah and it gives the other details the keywords uh, the resource which is a URL online resource and uh, all the other details that are within it like the layers we have feature feature type feature name and all that so basically what you're going to do you're going to focus on the url so this is the url uh, we have the location uh, or the url which is localhost and the port number which is 8080 then we have geo server and we have something written ows ows in our url stands for open 
uh, OGC Web Services, Open Geospatial Consortium Web Services. And the specific service in this case is saying that it is WFS. So we can just change this into WMS and see what we get. So for that, it, it, it downloads this XML uh, document and we're going to look at it. And then we have the version and the uh, request. So basically what you're going to do, we are going to be making requests to our Geo server. And that's why we are involving these uh, REST, uh, REST client because your app will be getting, you know, put, uh, posting some requests and then seeing what uh, the outputs are. So we are going to look at the, there's this downloaded XML. Let's see how it looks like. Uh, get capabilities. Let me open it with uh, VS code. And uh, this is how it looks like. We have, in this case, this is a WMS request. So it contains, it says it's a compliant implementation of WMS and SLD. Uh, it can also generate PDF, SVG, KML, and these are just formats that are supported. And the same formats can also be gotten from, if we go back, uh, we have this layer preview. There are some layers that I have published. So even in your case, you need to have some layers published. And if you do not have your layers published, uh, you can refer to my video uh, on the publishing of uh, layers, adding layers into GeoServer. Likewise, if you have not installed the GeoServer, you can also refer to the video for install installing the GeoServer, both in uh, Windows and uh, in uh, Ubuntu uh, Linux. So we are going to look at the WMS and uh, these are some of the, I had already uh, saved these URLs before and uh, the first item we are going to look in the WMS is get capabilities. So get capabilities uh, usually helps in a metadata generation that describes a WMS service and it provides, uh, provided by the particular server or particular geo server that uh, you have uh, requested onto and all the operations and the parameters that are supported. So we are going to highlight this so and copy it and then we are going to paste it in our rests uh, this rest client let me just close it if you cannot find it you can just come here into the extensions and you will see it here but as long as you have downloaded it you can be able to access it from your start menu which is uh, and click on it so we'll do a get request whereby we are requesting for the get capabilities. We want to see the capabilities, the WMS capabilities of our server or of our geo server. So I'll just click send once I've pasted my URL here. Yeah, and this is the output that we are getting. Uh, first of all, we have these uh, code the http it means that it has worked fine the 200 and uh, we have some items here whereby you can change if you want it to look at uh, for, uh, the raw response but we are going to leave it as it is because it is well color coded so you can see this is the service name is uh, wms uh, open geospatial consortium web map service and uh, it's specifically a geo server web map service because we have in other web other servers that support the web map service as well and uh, the explanation and then we have the keywords and then we have the contact person contact organization and we also have the contact position uh, address um, we also have the contact email address uh, after that we have the capabilities for we have the output which is the, the formatting rather which is X, an XML and then we have the uh, the capabilities uh, types we have which is one of them is a uh, get and post so it supports HTTP get and HTTP post and that's why we are using these uh, uh, rest client so we have the get map and the formats that it supports it supports png xml and all that 
so th this is just uh, from this URL you can be able to get the capabilities of this geo server and uh, the next item that we are going to look at is uh, the get map so get map uh, kind uh, just as it states it is getting the map and in this case we are I'm just going to copy this uh, URL that I had prepared so let me paste it and uh, when we paste it here and do and send yeah we are going we are getting some you know some funny information here but nevertheless at least this indicates that we have been able to uh, connect uh, so let me try and put some maybe random random things here inside and then we send so you notice that we are having an error this is uh, what you call an exception so it says that it cannot be able to determine the URL because I've added I've added some funny character so nothing exists in that URL so this is a it returns a PNG and uh, it, uh, it cannot be displayed on these REST uh, client so what we are going to do is that we are going to do the same in our browser and see what comes of it yeah so this is one of the layers that reside in the geo server and to confirm this we can just click uh, i know that it is this landsat path ke so this this is a uh, the layer and uh, there's one difference here it is fine but we have uh, an underlay or a background uh, of some color so this is because of a parameter that i have added uh, in the get map uh, let me just move to the end we have this parameter which which represents the background color bg color is equals to that so let's say if i change this value maybe eight and change it to something like five and copy the url and paste it in our browser the background color should change as you've noticed it has changed it has become a bit dark a darker shade of blue so these are some of the things that you can do with the get map you can change the background you can change even the color of the layers although we are not going to do that right now it's just for demonstration purposes so we have the url and then we have the request we are requesting uh, get map so you notice the first request was get capabilities the second request that we are doing right now is get map and get map is accompanied by other parameters which are layers you need to specify the layer the bounding box which is a b box uh, the bounding box representing the corner points or uh, that uh, the layer has spanned spans across and then we have the width and the height uh, how it's going to fit in or the size of it in the in our screen or in our browser uh, wherever we are loading it onto and the, we, another important thing is the SRS or the coordinate reference system which is in this case is EPSG 3426 or the global coordinate system and then we have the style the style we have not added any styles that's why it is style equals and uh, we have also the format so there's something we need to note the ampersand or this and character uh, combines the parameters so like in this case we have and format is uh, image is equals to png so this and is uh, indicates that we are adding a parameter uh, or a new variable and you can also notice before the background color the bg color we have another end so uh, that said we'll go to our next item which is get feature info and uh, we'll just add, uh, paste this url in the yeah in our rest client so this get feature info uh, one thing we'll notice that it has returned a json uh, i know it's a json because of the way it is formatted it has these calibrations and uh, key value item uh, key pair key value pair items inside the calibrations so we have an array but this array is empty and uh, this is because if you look at our url there are a number there i have specified an x and y value 
so going back to this get feature info it uh, we get we normally get the feature uh, the information of a specific feature so one of the parameters that we are going we have added here we have added an exception so if there is an error it's going to ret uh, to throw an exception uh, an xml kind of an exception and then we have the service and then we have the coordinates you need to specify the specific coordinates so we have x is equals to 35 and y is equals to 0 so we have we do not have any feature at that point that's why our return type or our whatever is returned here yeah, indicates that it's an array or with zero elements and also number returned is zero and then we have the current or rather the timestamp and the coordinate reference system is also null so this is because we do not have anything there but uh, we shall just proceed with our next item which is describe layer so let's copy and paste this uh, describe layer and paste it here so this one returns a, a similar json uh, output and in this case we have three items uh, that are indexed from zero so we have uh, z the zeroth item which is uh, one of our layers the first item which is the other layer and the third item which is uh, this one so if we do the same in our browser because our browser supports uh, json uh, output you'll see that this is how it looks like so it indicates the wms version and the layers so these are the layers that reside in the geo server and to confirm this we have my workspaces uh, gadm 36 k en2 which is this it's already in our geo server we have the other one uh, which is follows which is an underscore three which is this one and then we have the other one which is for land sat path ke which is also uh, here so that is the work of the describe layer it describes you know the layers but one thing you have to notice that we have specified these layers prior to showing them we have specified them here and they're separ they are uh, in a comma separated kind of syntax and then we have also specified the output format we want the output to be in uh, json so which is also supported by the wms then we have the get legend graphics so this one uh, is used when you want to get your legend uh, item or you you want to get to display your legend so let's see what happens when we add this so it has taken one of the layers which is landsat path and uh, it has taken its style and displayed its style here uh, we i have added the height uh, i can also change the height and the width so I, I can change it to 100 100 and you see it increases in size and then we have the format the output format you can output these as png or you can even do it as uh, let's say jpeg so for a jpeg it's going to download it and uh, let's see how it looks like oh i think i've not typed the format well so let me just close it uh, j jpg uh, we can also have the format as uh, svg application slash svg all of these are downloading the xml version so nevertheless we have been able to we have been able to display the legend graphic so you can specify the layers in which you want to display their legend graphic and all these are some uh, among others uh, supported by the wms and to refer on to these you can go to the geo server wms uh, yeah, wms reference whereby we have all these uh, specified here i'm going to add the link in the description below yeah, so in our next video we are going to look at uh, the wfs or the web feature service uh, request and it's uh,
operations so click uh, like share and subscribe uh, to my channel for more content uh, on the same